What's up guys, it's Daz here. But you don't really care as the gloomy manor is done. The haunted towers is done. The old clockworks is done. The secret mine is done. And now it's time for the treacherous mansion. This massive mansion is filled with exotic exhibits. Interesting word choice there. Fashioned by its globe-trotting late owner. Oh, and it also has the strongest paranormal signals ever recorded. <laughs> Time to go through the front door key, or get the front door key, because we don't already have one? The paranormal activity in this mansion is completely off the charts! Stay on your toes and start looking for the Dark Moon piece! Um, okay. I also like how in this game there's literally like two voices I need to do. My own and EGADs. That's all the voice acting that I need to do. Kind of funny compared to, I don't know, Chibi Robo, or the game I'm playing next. Seriously, there's like a whole new world of voices I've got to start doing next LP. Anyway, Luigi, the final Dark Moon piece appears to be located here, in the treacherous mansion. But I'm reading the highest levels of paranormal activity ever recorded, in the history of forever. No paranormal researcher worth their salt would go near the place. Yep, going in there is an absolutely terrible idea. For me, for you on the other hand, well, you're gonna, you don't really have a choice. You're the only one who can recover the final Dark Moon piece. But don't despair, son. Look on the bright side. You, um... You, uh... You have a very bushy moustache. Why, thank you. I'm glad you noticed. I've actually been growing some facial hair on my chin for a short film role, but I'm glad you noticed, even though it's not a moustache. Whatever. Sorry, I'm no good at pep talks. I'm also not very good at animating, either. Anywho, this here is the front door key for the tree tr I was gonna say treasurous. The treacherous mansion. Also the treerous. That's not right. Awkward silence. And pause. It'll make getting into the mansion a whole lot easier. So don't go losing it. Hmm. Why do I get the feeling we're gonna lose it? I tried to pinpoint the dark moon piece, but there's just too much paranormal interference in there. You'll have to look for it the old-fashioned way. Good. I like it. It means I'm exploring the place myself. Good luck, Luigi! You're gonna need it. Huh? What was that last bit? I, I didn't I, I, I didn't pick that up. Um, okay. So, this is the gate to the treacherous mansion. But this is not the front door. Welcome to the veranda. Now we're actually going to go back, not because there's a collectible, but because there are, well apparently is. They, they play a tune like there's something interesting here, but there really isn't, there's no gems. However, these gargoyle statues, for whatever reason, you can flash them and they'll open their mouths and give you some treasure. They would be good to remember for the future because, well, they can give you treasure and that's always a good thing. Also, there's a hidden one, hid yeah there is a hidden one there, I was going to say, why is it not popping up? But there we go. Actually, if this reveals like a boo or something, I'm going to be really flabbergasted because I don't remember writing anything about this. I just remember noting that I should get some money from it. Oh well, there we go. Give me some money. Thank you. Now let's make progress. And now I was actually wrong. Egat does actually explain why he can't just pixel shift us right inside the house, which I guess is a good thing. Still, we have to climb, well not even climb, just walk over this incredibly deadly veranda. And what do we do now? You'd think you'd have to rebuild the place with the Dark Moon pieces, since that's what usually happens when something's missing, but no! There are two oh, very oh. convenient, but also equally dangerous strands left for us to get across. So just try not to fall a horrible, horrible, endless death. I guess, well I guess technically you'd be alive. You'd die of starvation. That'd be interesting. Die of starvation while falling forever. But anyway... The treacherous mansion is now not accessible for anyone else other than Luigi and ghosts that, you know, can fly and all that jazz. But anyway, let's go through the front door, knock on wood. There is no wood here. We're doomed. Oh? Uh -huh. 
Perfectly predictable, but equally frustrating. Anyway, there's eyeballs in that one, but not in that one. That's, or in, you know what I meant. Why is that? Is this one because this one has money and this one doesn't? Oh, that was that a graphical error? I don't know. But now we've unlocked the sideways of the front door for whatever reason. So let's peek through this window. I think I found our villain, everybody. Even though it's, what, 20 something, 27, 29, 28, 20 something videos in. We're only now seeing the, 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 I won't say his name, but we'll see the villain in the flesh. Then, um, I guess there are ghosts here. Buh, 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 buh. Now, over here, you will find, for whatever reason, you can't fall down here, which is incredibly weird. But there's also a fir ah, first collectible. We could follow the polterpup over there if we want to. In fact, he's going to just jump away everywhere, so we know we've got to go down. But this here is a fake wall. And what we want to do is we want to go through it. This will give us a line of coins, apparently, but also takes us to a gravestone. How wonderful. But, just like the last gravestone with candles we saw, if you blow them all out, you unlock yourself a gold greenie, so let's get ourselves some extra cash for our own entertainment. Thank you. Lovely. And where's that last bill? There we go, lovely. Okay, now, I like the music in this place. Probably one of the reasons it's one of my favourites. It's just... It's got that good element of creepy in it, I guess. Also, why is there a second doghouse? I mean... I get the Polterpup must have, well I guess maybe the Polterpup only appeared when it was dead, but still, like, come on, why is there two dog houses? There's not two Polterpups. Oh well. Anyway, does it look like we need to go in the well? Because we don't need to actually go in the well. Where we need to go is here. This doesn't look, again, the camera makes it think, this looks like a wall. It looks like there's going to be a wall right here, but no, this is where we're supposed to go. Bad game design, and I'm not even a game designer, Nintendo, and I know what's good and bad. Come on. Anyway, well, I guess most people know what's good and bad, but still. I'm going to pull all these plants for my own entertainment, and let's go and see. Oh, well, we can't make progress, but at least we can peek. Huh. Whole lot of interesting stuff going on here. Maybe that's an entrance. Hmm. And Egad, yeah, I was gonna say, Egad usually talks to us after this, but apparently he didn't want to. He likes leaving awkward silences, doesn't he? Gah! Bad dog! That Polterpup is just sitting there, just out of our reach! If only he knew the trouble he's causing us! Well, I guess there's nothing else for it. You'll just have to find another way in there, son! Hmm. wonder how I'm gonna do that. Although, I guess I've already mentioned it, but we need to go down the well. But we can't just dive in, so of course... If something doesn't make sense in Luigi Mansion world, it's because something you've never even seen before is invisible. And it's not even a bucket, it's a button. I mean, not? What even is that? Just a thing to hold on to. I don't know. Weird. And overly com compliant? Com convenient. That's the word I'm looking for. Anyway, while we're down here in the bottom of the well, I like it. It's almost like a reference to the first game, since in that game we also went under a well. Are we going to find our brother? Probably not, because, well, he's not in this game. Or is he? I don't know, because they haven't really told us yet. Wink, wink. Seriously, how dumb do they think I, we are to not know that Mario's been taken? We knew that... Uh, whatever. Anyway... Let's go and explode some spiders. Also, if you didn't know from earlier, you... Damn it. You can suck up these mushrooms. They don't... I don't think they ever give you anything, but there you go. Let's rip through this wall, shall we? 
Hello, Polterpop. Goodbye, Polterpop. I shall catch up with you one day, I hope, I, I assume. So, what else is there left to do? Well, first of all, actually, we can't make progress, but hey, let's peek again. He's in the ceremonial chambers. What a lovely name for the place. Oddly enough, though, this whole underground section of the mansion, same names in every other region, or at least in the American version, so... No, no, I can't say any sort of trivial facts about each of these rooms because they're all the same. But I can suck in these strong greenies, which aren't very strong considering I can still take them out in one April, but oh well. Suck you in a bit, and then again. And oh. One more time for good luck. Thank you. Nice and easy. We're just overpowered at this point. I almost wish I didn't have this upgrade to make things a little more challenging. Although I did die literally like a few episodes ago, but still, you know what I mean. I want more of a challenge, damn it. Why is this game... I want to say, why is this game so easy? It's not. The puzzles aren't easy, but the actual gameplay, piece of cake. Weird combination. In fact, bad combination. So anyway, you spin this wheel, and the cliffside thing opens... The cliffside thing, do you know what I mean? The gate opens and kills you if you get too close. So what you want to do, at least from what I've gathered, is trick the system? Is this the puzzle? Because, I mean, it works. I don't know. Is it wanting us to rely on weird Luigi's Mansion logic? I don't understand it. But that's how I've always made it across. Maybe someone else can explain the correct way to do it. If that even isn't the correct way to do it anyway. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to the ceremonial chambers after I find a really obvious secret wall. Or fake wall. Hello? You're in here! I saw you fall down. Apparently I can't make progress until I do something else. Well, we have a cobweb. I wonder what we need to do with it. Maybe, I don't know, set it alight with the fire we just walked past? I think that seems pretty fair and understandable. Let's go and just follow the dots, I guess. Light, I can't light you up. You have to light the fuses, which are, in, which are very conveniently placed. Boom, boom, boom. What next then, buddy? There are humans in this universe? I mean, those are pretty proportional to humans. Are they really that tall compared to Luigi characters? Either way, meet a knight. I'm assuming that's what they're called. Really? They're just greenies, or in this case, strong greenies there to mess you up. Sort of like the mummies. They're not really an enemy, they're just a ghost pretending to be an enemy. And what you want to do, if you couldn't already tell, is pull the carpet up to trip them over. Like so. It unleashes the ghost, because, I don't know, they can't handle being in a body that falls over or something. And then you can suck them up, just like normal. Now I have a really important question. How many layers of carpet is there? Three... Four... Five... It seems there's an infinite number of carpets! What is this sorcery? Forget the ghosts, I'm scared by the carpenters and their ability to make everlasting materials. Man, I guess, like, carbon emissions is never going to be a problem. Anyway, behind one of the knights, or I guess, yeah, knights, I'll call them that, you can get yourself a chest full of money. Otherwise, let's sit the throne. <laughs> okay, welcome to the haunted catacombs. If you see on the bottom screen, there is no map, but you can hear the polter pup panting away. But he's not anywhere nearby. I can't get that frog, though. Thank you. Now what you're supposed to do, and I didn't even know this when I practiced it, is you're supposed to follow the trail to know where to go. I didn't know this, I just did trial and error. Either way though, there's quite a few collectibles we can get here. First of all, you'll notice there's a coffin in the background, even though it's just a picture of one, so that's interesting, I guess. But what we actually... Crap, I was not looking at the screen at the time. So, obviously, take a wrong turn, you end up at the beginning. It's like the Lost Woods all over again. Oh, all over again, even. But you'll see here, okay, let me point this out. Coffin! It's fake. Remember that. Good? Okay. So then, we come over here. What we want to do is we want to go past these knights, where they won't hopefully hit us, and double back onto where the coffin is. This will take us to the real coffin. Or more importantly, a secret door. I've never done this one before because I never saw it. Never found it. This one only gives you money, so don't panic too much. In fact, this just looks like a simple loop around. 
As long as it doesn't stay like that. Okay, great. Well then, easy. Easy as pie. Lovely. Just a figure eight. But there you go. Don't need to do it for any sort of compulsory gems. Don't need to restart the mission because I missed out on it. Just take the money, accept my pride, and move on. Of course, there are other collectibles for us and the camera went weird for a minute, so let's go back to the beginning. Right, so actually, on my notes, I haven't actually got the next collectible on here straight away. But I might as well show them off now while I... You know what, no, I'm gonna follow my notes orders. So let's just go and I guess follow the dog for now. Whoopsie, the dog went this way. So let's make progress. Where are we going now? This way, into the door. He's alive! Sorry, it had to be done at some point. I'm sure it's overused, but you know what I mean. It's pretty much a reference to it at this point. But anyway, a couple of strong greenies take off their goggles, try not to get spooked by a sneaker, somehow dodge it twice by some sort of stroke from Miracle, get all of the greenies in one go without the sneaker interrupting. That's a real miracle. And stun the sneaker. Here we go. No more 100 HP for you. Just get in my vacuum and live a horrible eternal life in... Imprisoned? Imprisoned. Now there's two collectibles you can get in this room. Even though you clearly don't want the thing to come to life, what we do want to do is um, turn it to life by turning the thing up. Zapping it unleashes our boo of the mission. Arf, arf, grrr, better run from Bulldog. Cool, um, yeah, um, I mean, I get the pun. I mean, I guess you're one of the good ones, but you know what, I'll accept you. I won't belittle you like I have with almost every other boo in the game, because you're somewhat well done, you know, somewhat. Anyway, where'd you go? Over here, there you are. Didn't even find your trail, but doesn't matter. Get bouncing. I must admit though, it is quite satisfying watching it bounce everywhere. Must be pretty fun to a kid. Anyway, that's that boo taken care of, but there's more to get in this place. You'll see there are jars of hearts everywhere for some reason. And the bu the bucket, the helmet came off of the suit once we zapped it, so you can target these jars and get the health like that. But also on the right side of the room, <gasps> it's a gem! Our first one. And the gems in this are diamonds. Now then, let's move on. Welcome back to the haunted catacombs. I guess this is why I didn't write the things right away. So at this point, you can follow the dog prints, huh? Go up or down even? I never even considered this, but uh, they go they go left. That actually is the correct way we want to go, but we don't want to go there quite yet. Where we want to go is follow these knights. They point us in the right direction. All of these knights will point us to the right, and it tells us the correct way. I quite like this. I like it a little bit, but now let's keep moving. And, hmm, doesn't seem to be much else here. Also, interesting to note, you can sort of see, sometimes... Can I go back? Here we go. On the one on the right, you can see there's a wall there, can't you? On that right doorway? I guess that's what it looks like behind the thing, because that's obviously a fake. You're not supposed to go that way, but yeah, it's a wall. Where we want to go is to the far right here, and we unlock ourselves a cobweb in a portrait. Uh, modern art, I guess? Now with this, we want to burn it and retrace our steps, because we walk past a web full of wool. Let me try that again. A wool full of web. This will give us our second diamond of the mission and the mansion. Great! But also, on this same corridor, we want to ignore this knight, because the knight is wrong. He led us astray. He's the false shepherd. We want to go through this door instead. This takes us to the cliffside. The only interesting thing here for us, really, 
is our third diamond right here. They're really crushed together, but I guess it's because they wanted to hide them in the best place they could. And a haunted catacombs lost woods thing would be perfect, I guess. Though I will take everything else here, just because I want to explore a little bit. What do we got? We got some gold bars. Um, a path of weirdness. Bats, which I can never flash in time. Oh, there's a chest. And some gold bats. I can't even aim at them correctly. And even if I do shock them, the gold bars will just go off the edge, so what's the point? Oh well, I'll take- wow, that all just- I didn't even have to suck up for that. Um, thanks! Alright, let's go back. And that is our last gem of the mansion, so let's go right on back. No need to follow the knights anymore. We're going where the dog takes us. He went this way. Can you tell by how there's no other entrance? Or direction? I could probably actually flash those gargoyles at the top of the room, but I'll ignore them. Welcome to the dungeon cells. Huh? This place seems quite similar to the gloomy manor in that there's all these sort of suits of armor, don't you think? Anyway, there's a hider in here for some reason. Let's suck him up for 75 HP, which is... How much is that? It's like... Eight times their normal health? They usually have 15, so one, two, three, four, five. Five times their health. Wow, I guess they are quite a lot stronger, but we're even stronger than that with our Super Poltergust 5000. Now there is another puzzle here. In fact, actually, there's a few puzzles here. They're optional because they're not for collectibles, but we can make... I'm going to assume that's water and not alcohol. Pour, and we can have that in a barrel. We can use this to then water this plant, and what does it give us? Because it's just like the Haunted Towers, actually, in that it has plants that we can flash. Actually, that was also in the Gloomy Manor. Never mind. But let's go through these cells one by one and see what else there is. We can't make any progress to this second one because it's blocked on both ends. Interesting. I'll remember that at least. What's over here? A whole lot of nothing. Interesting. But there is a thing we can suck on. Also, you may suddenly notice I'm on the other side of the bars. That's because bars are fake. I'm not sure how I managed to work this out so quickly, both this time and my practice file, but it's... Lucky. A bit bad design that they don't really show much of an indication for it, but still, um, lucky. But anyway, doing this turns around the portrait. We don't want it turned around yet because there's a bomb in it, which can explode the walls on both sides. So, actually, while that's waiting to explode, I'm going to turn you around again. Boom! This is not the way to go, which is what I thought in the practice file, which is why I never actually got whatever's over here, but... No, this is the optional side of things. You actually want to go into the middle cell to finish the mission. It's really weird. Anyway, what's over here? Um, I don't know. I've never been here. Some money. Thank you. And a suit. Oh, okay. Also, quite like the view. Not that there's much to it, but still. Creepy. Beautiful. Same time. Ah, oh, to tell you. Anyway. Let's go and bring another bomb. I guess Portrait has infinite bombs or something that allows us to get to this next wall. Now, we can make our path across. What are we looking for? The Polter Pup. Which we can suck up right now. Or we can explore the place for more things because I want to explore while I still can. No? Is that everything? Okay then. Well then, let's finish the mission by collecting the Polter Pup and finally getting our key. Where did it go? Um, I am lost. Are you in one of these barrels now? There you are. Okay then. Time to get a, get a, get a what? I don't know. Sucking you in, I think is what I'm trying to say. Please, just come home. Now, recover the front door key and make no progress in this mission. We started the place with a front door key in our pocket, going to the front door. And now, with an awkward silence, I guess, to collect these last gold bars, we now get to have a front door key in our pocket, and are now going to the front door. Hmm. Bravo, Luigi! Somebody needs to put a leash on that blasted pooch! Eh, you're pretty far from the mansion's entrance now. It'll be faster for me to bring you back here and then send you to the entrance. Hold on! Hold on! How are we going to do that if we just went across the chasm which we broke on the way over? Unless you mean you're going to put us right in front of the door in the next mission. In which case, why didn't you do that at the beginning of this mission, hmm? 
I don't know, I'm not actually sure if my assumption is correct in that plot hole, but I guess we'll find out in the next mission. 18 minutes just over this time. I'm getting slower and slower, aren't I? Probably because I let it's because I let the pulse pump go for that one moment. Anyway, two star rank. Mission done. Let's move. There is nothing new about this cutscene, and I don't know even what to say in this anymore. We've seen it like 27 times by this point. Welcome back, youngster! Nice work hunting down that front door key! That dog really took you for a walk! Ho ho! Mm hmm. I guess it did, but I guess all you wanted to say was a pun, huh? Alright then. New gem! New gem! New gem. Shaped exactly the same as the others, just with a different colour palette. Alright. Also, updated strong slammer, and hey! Bolter Pop! It's actually in the vault! <gasps> it's not gonna run away again, because it's the last mansion, so why would they? Or why would it? No one cares about the boo. Take my money. Thank you. <laughs> ha! Gotcha now, you spooky mutt! That sounds like a really slangy, like, it could have been a swear, doesn't it? Anyway, and he stop buzzing at me, phone. I made some adjustments to the capture mechanism, so he won't be escaping this time. <laughs> Are you sure it was the capture mechanism you changed? Because it kept escaping the poltergust, not the actual one. Oh, whatever. You know, you didn't encounter as many ghosts as I thought you would. <laughs> However, there was just the basement, or that was just the basement of the treacherous mansion. Who knows what the rest of the place has in store for you? The mansion's a lot creepier than the last time I saw it. Someone's given it a spooktacular makeover. Anywho, I'll adjust the pixel shifter to send you to the mansion's entrance. Because apparently I couldn't do that before. In the meantime, why don't you go do some training in the Thrill Tower? I can't because internet connection ain't good. Unless I don't need an internet connection, in which case... Whoops, sorry, you probably commented about it like two weeks ago. Whoops, sorry. You'll need your skills sharp to make it through the treacherous mansion. I'm sure. Anyway, there's more? No, just an odd angle at looking at EGAD, touch a keyboard, and look at a screen that's not even on. Old people, man, they really just, they cannot catch up with today's technology, can they? Such a shame. That's gonna be me one day. Anyway, mission two is unlocked. It is double trouble. Alrighty then, for now, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.